Yes, Ed. One of the things the Occupy Wall Street people were upset about is special interests of having a lot of influence here in Washington and, and having their voices heard and not individuals uh, being heard. And the New York Times has a story today about this campaign pledge the president made about lobbyists not being allowed to give money to his campaign. And yet, the story lays out in great detail how there are a lot of people not just giving but raising half a million dollars each, a lot of money um, for the president's campaign, and they just don't register as lobbyists, but their livelihood is lobbying. How do you square well, those two? I mean, first of all, they don't. You, you make it sound like they don't register as lobbyists, and they're somehow violating the law. The, the this president's record is unprecedented in terms of his uh, rejection of money from PACs and lobbyists. I mean, I th what's interesting is that you're citing that story and not the story that demonstrated that lobbyists are lining up to, in record numbers, to contribute to Republican campaigns, campaigns that openly and willingly accept money from yeah, lobbyists. And well, the president in 2008 made a pledge right. that he would and not he is, accept. And he has we can go through all pledge. the other candidates, and but he, he has made kept that, that pledge. pledge uh, uh, and, and has been more transparent and, and, and uh, had held himself and his administration to higher standards. Uh, than any administration in history. Okay, so and that's a record we're very proud okay, of. Okay, so how then in the story, uh, a woman who runs Pfizer's lobbying shop, when you ask, well, they don't lobby, uh, she runs Pfizer's lobbying shop, drug company, billions of dollars of interest around the world. They lobby the White House, they lobby Congress. She runs her lobbying shop, and yet she's raised $500,000 for the president's campaign. Mm -hmm. well, Isn't that violating the, the spirit? The point is, this president has been the most transparent in terms of disclosure, the most ethical in terms of you know, the, the money that he will accept and the money he won't accept. There is no one who compares thus far. We hope that there will be. And it's certainly none of the Republican well, candidates well, are even, I mean, it, they don't even make an effort, right? And the fact is this president's record is uh, unparalleled in this regard. Right, but he's also the president right now. They're candidates. We don't know who's going to get the nomination. They should be held to right. a high and standard he, as well. And he's he the had president. standard he's prior to when he ran for office, okay. not so just when he took of, office. Uh, Comcast lobbying, <laughs> David Cohn, mm -hmm. runs Comcast lobbying, raised a half a million dollars. I understand you keep saying disclosure and everything else, but how do you have somebody who's running a lobbying shop and they're raising a half a million dollars? How does that square with a ban? I, I, again, Ed, the, the, the president's standards are unequaled in this regard. The practice has been unprecedented in this regard. The transparency, the disclosure, uh, unequaled again by any other candidate. Uh, we're very confident that um, that his record on this is exemplary. Let me go. Uh, 